Hi, um, I worked at an IGA from when I was 15 to when I left school at 18. Despite working there for three years, I didn't earn a single dollar of superannuation because workers under, uh, under 18 don't earn superannuation unless they work more than 30 hours a week. Um, my question's for Tony Burke. Uh, is the government going to commit to making sure super is paid on every dollar a young worker earns? Um, straight up, we don't have a commitment on that, OK? So answer that straight. Things that we have done uh, that won't have helped you before you were 18 uh, but will matter now, uh, the superannuation guarantee is still on its way up to 12%. Uh, payday super is about... is, is we're, we're dealing with that so that you'll, it'll start to be, instead of it being paid each month or sometimes only at, you know, being paid very late, it's being paid at the same time as your pay, which will make a real difference. And the other thing that didn't get a lot of publicity with our wage theft laws, but we included superannuation underpayments within the wage theft laws. OK, but no guarantee for no, the actual thing No, I started thing with that. I started you with did. that. <laughs> you, did, you didn't hide it, it's true. You said no. James, you'd like him to commit to it. Why do you think it's so important? Um, I think it's really important, uh, first of all, because that's potentially... Um, I think studies show over $10,000 uh, that's going to be missing from a retirement fund when a worker retires. Um, it also creates a heap of confusion for young people going into the work workforce knowing what their entitlements are. Um, and I welcome the wage theft laws. I'm a previous victim of wage theft. I had $15,000 stolen off me by a business in wages and superannuation as well later in life. Have you got and it back? I, I did win that back with the help of my union, but I think that that was partly um, because of my confusion working at the IGA. I didn't really know what my entitlements were. Going into my first job at, uh, at 21 in a bar, I didn't know what I was supposed to be getting paid because of this confusion. Um, and, you know, junior wages, junior rates, the different superannuation for young workers, I think that creates a lot of confusion. Part of my job now is going to schools and talking to school students about their workplace entitlements and superannuation. Um, and it's hard to talk to people under 18 and say, these are what your entitlements are, but not in this case or not in that case. Or Sally, you know. is that yeah. something that you're pushing for? We want to see um, uh, all workers paid on all the money that they earn and that shouldn't depend on your age. So we want to see that fixed. It's very good we have a universal superannuation system, at, but there are holes in it. That's one hole. Another hole is, is you don't get paid super if on overtime or, or shifts and things like that. So if you're a FIFO worker or a nurse, for example, you're being paid on your ordinary time earnings, which is your, your ordinary um, pay, not the extra bits. And so it means you're missing out as well compared to someone who works nine to five. So I think these are two really important areas where our super system can be um, strengthened even further.